yesterday was a fantastic day. We got a bunch of stuff done on the car. Some of it good, a couple of it not so good to me. We rewired the car so now it actually turns off with the key because before there was a uh, like a constant power source that kept the car running to where you'd have to unplug the distributor to turn it off. We finally got that figured out. That was a headache most of the day, literally and figuratively. Got the electric fans working again. We changed the hood, which sucks. I put a timing light on and actually checked the timing. Right now it's set at about 10 degrees initial timing. I have no idea how much that distributor advances or at what RPM it starts to advance. And even better yet, I actually got to drive the car for the first time more than just around the driveway. And you wanna know something? We didn't film any of it. I was gonna try to film it, but it was so like tedious and just kind of boring shit that it wouldn't have translated to video very well. So I didn't film really any of it. I thought it'd be easier just to give you guys a quick update here rather than make a whole video about just us figuring out wiring issues. But yes, I did actually drive the car. It was just about two miles down the road and then two miles back. And it surprised the fuck out of me, honestly. And here's kind of why it surprised me. One, those tires are dry rotted as fuck and I've never even checked the tire pressure. I had no idea if the transmission had any gears other than first and reverse. I had no idea what the rear end was gonna do. The motor was a complete mystery really because we pulled it out of a boat that had been sitting for a year or two. I've been battling this overheating issue, the shifter's garbage, I had no idea if the brakes were any good, and I had no idea if that steering link that I welded together was gonna snap at any given moment. So with all that kind of in the back of my mind, I had like this dramatic fear inside me to actually take it down the road for the first time. And you know what? It did fucking amazing. I don't want to lie and say that the car is super fast. It's not. It's a stock small block making at most 300 horsepower. Realistically, probably like 280 at the crank. But I will tell you this, because it's such a light car, I think it's probably around 2800 with me in it. It's super quick. The truck, the truck's not fast either, but the truck's no slouch. And this thing, this thing would destroy the truck. What the fuck are you? What are you? you? Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, I hear you little shit. What are you? You could be the only one in existence and I just killed you. If anybody knows what this thing is, leave a comment. I've lived in this area for 20 years and I have never seen this thing before. That is crazy. I hope it shows up on camera just how wild this thing looks. It's probably a super common bug. So if you're not familiar with a 700R4 transmission, it has what looks like a kickdown cable, that I'm sure most of you have heard of, um, but it's not a kickdown cable. It's called a TV cable or throttle valve cable. And what it does is as you hit the gas, the linkage uh, pulls the cable that goes to the transmission and that's what controls the line pressure in the transmission. So if that's not hooked up, 10 times out of nine, it will slip the transmission and by 20 miles an hour you'll be in third gear. The old wives tale is that if you don't have that hooked up within a mile or two you'll burn up the transmission and you just might as well throw it away. So considering the fact that it's not hooked up and it shifted fine. So I have no idea what's going on. Well it, hmm. Now I'm trying to think back at how many gears I felt it go through and I thought four but now I'm not sure. We'll probably have to take it for another drive, huh? But before we do take it for a drive, I do want to check tire pressures because I've never done...
I want to be impressed that it lights them up so easily, but I mean, the tires are 185 70s, so I, I can't be too impressed. I'll probably have to get two sets of tires, one just for fucking around like this, and then one for when I ever do get around to taking it to the strip. So I'm going to check some tire pressures and a couple other things. Honestly, I expect it to do fine again, but it was just so much fun driving it yesterday that I was up all night thinking about it, and I just flat out, I just want to drive it again. Plus, I want to get another feel for the transmission, see how that's doing, um, because it still baffles me that it shifted relatively fine with that TV cable disconnected. And if that still does fine, we'll move on to some other stuff, because why fix what ain't broke? Well, I'm James Brown, but if I believe it and worship it, then I'm finished. One. Yeah, now that I was actually paying attention to the transmission, it's slipping a pretty good amount. I think if I had a good shifter to where I could actually manually go through the gears, it wouldn't be an issue, but putting it in drive, it just wants to rev to the moon and just slip. So first thing I gotta do is get out of this fucking sauna. And then after that, I have to hook up that TV cable and I need a new shifter. I'd go to ratchet up to the next gear and it just, the, me the, the mechanism's so worn out that it wouldn't grab, it would just bounce back and forth. I think the transmission's still going to be okay. Um, I got on in a little bit, but it should be fine. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.